Hello, I'm Jonathan Whitaker, presenting my entry for the National Student Projects Competition. Configurable Infrared Tomography Systems. Computer tomography is the process of building up an image of a cross-section through an object, usually done by measuring how much radiation of one kind or another passes through the object from different directions, and then processing these measurements to reconstruct the image. The most common type of radiation used is x-rays. This is how your doctor takes a picture of your skeleton in a CAT scanner. However, nothing is stopping us from using other radiation, and for my project, I wanted to investigate the use of light, specifically near-infrared light. Before I built anything, I wanted to better understand what was possible. I found that I just didn't have the intuition to answer questions like how many sensors do I need, or which arrangement will work best. I was also interested in using non-standard arrangements like the one shown here, and seeing if I could find new ways of getting useful information out of the readings they produce. I started out by writing some code that let me simulate scans with different arrangements of emitters and detectors. This gave me a deeper understanding of the maths behind it all, but also let me start building up my understanding of what would work and what wouldn't. I first tried some traditional arrangements and compared the results with those obtained from other available tools that already do simulation of different computer tomography operations. Once I'd validated my simulator, I then started out on my own work, experimenting with different arrangements. It quickly became clear that even with a small number of sensors and emitters, I could make sense of the readings using machine learning. To test out my ideas in the real world, I needed some way of accurately positioning both the detector and the emitter. In my case, a phototransistor is the detector, and an infrared LED is the emitter. I could of course do this manually, slowly building up a scan by moving them to different locations, but this would take far too long. So I built a rotating platform that let me independently rotate an object being scanned and the detector. With this, I could quickly take highly detailed scans of any object, and I could simulate different arrangements of detectors and emitters simply by repositioning the LED and the phototransistor. With the scanner, I was able to produce some highly detailed results, but it also showed me that even with fewer readings, I could get some useful output. The next thing I built was a fixed arrangement consisting of a ring of eight LEDs and eight phototransistors, all controlled by a Teensy microcontroller board. An object is placed within the ring, and a set of readings is taken. These readings can then be stored or sent to a neural network which I trained to be able to recognize what object has been placed in the ring and where that object is located. This approach performed surprisingly well. It was able to tell the difference between a pen and a finger inserted anywhere in the ring with 99% accuracy, and it was able to predict the location of the object inserted to within about 10% of the radius of the ring. However, getting to this level of accuracy required a large number of training samples to be used. This can be time-consuming, especially in real-world situations where it's not so easy to precisely position an object within the scanned area. To solve this problem, I used simulation to augment a limited number of training samples from the real world. This was able to drastically improve the model performance for a given number of training samples, and meant that much less real-world readings needed to be taken. I'm very happy with this result, and with the project as a whole. I hope that it will act as a foundation upon which others can build to produce useful systems in the future. Thank you.